Hello everyone, Ryan from Renewed Health Supply. Hope you are doing great. Excited to talk to you today about two fantastic, uh, really the top products from Mito Red Light today. I'm gonna to talk with you about the uh, brand new Mito Adapt product. I'm gonna talk with you about the Mito Pro product and how I would compare the two. And I'll just tell you up front, there's reasons as to why you might choose one versus the other one, all right? So if you are into the uh, the, the latest and greatest and all the features and technologies and uh, all that kind of stuff, then you might really want to consider the Mito Adapt. If you're into wanting to get great therapeutic uh, light output uh, and a little bit of simplicity and you don't want to break the bank, then the Mito Pro might be a great option for you. All right, so let's talk a little bit about a couple of the differentiators here on the Mito Adapt product. Uh, so let's just say, number one, the Mito Adapt product has a um, superior control panel. Um, I'm gonna turn this one sideways here so you can see. Um, on the Mundo Adapt, you've got um, a, a real, real interesting kind of display. You can go from, sorry guys, this is what I'm talking about. It is a little bit trickier, all right? <clears throat> all right, so you, you control the control panel by starting here with the time option, and you can go plus and minus to add time to it. Then you hit the next set button and you can control the different light outputs. Now this particular light has 11 different modes that you can set it into. So each of these individual lenses that are on this have two different chips. In other words, two different light output um, frequencies, we'll call them, okay? And uh, so there's 630, there's 660, there's 810, and there's 850. So if you want to turn on 50% of them with one spectrum and 50% of them with the other spectrum, you can totally do that. If you want to turn on 25% on all four of the spectrums, you can do that as well. If you want to turn on um, just, you know, just the red lights uh, and you want to have all these lit up with red, you can do 50% of it is 630 and 50% of it is 660. If you want to do it all near infrared, 810 and 850, you can do 50-50 as well. So there's a lot of there's a lot of options here incorporated with this. Control panel is really nice is because when you turn it on and off, it keeps it set at the same program that you were on the last time, okay? So you don't have to go and toggle through it every time. It's right there where you want it. You can also reduce the brightness of the light. I don't really know why you would do that, to be fair, uh, but if you wanted to, you've got that as an option. And there's an app that syncs up with your phone as well, so you can track how much time am I using it, how am I feeling after these sessions. And Mito is actually going to be compiling data for people that choose to opt in with that, so they can really start you know, figuring out, like, is there therapeutic, um, uh, are, there, are there optimal modes and optimal frequencies and all kind of stuff that really are getting people the better outcomes, okay? So, again, if you like the features and bells and whistles, that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing I'll say is that just the fit and finish of this, you now this Mito Pro is a, yeah, it's about a year and a half, two years old, uh, and, and maybe that, that is, maybe that is a, but this is a little bit more refined, the edges are a bit nicer, the coat, you know, the coating on it, the paint, that's a little upgraded, but um, um, that's what I'd say there. All right, so let's talk about the Mito Pro and my, my, why you might want to go with this. So if you just want to turn on the thing and hit uh, hit go, you can totally, this is not plugged in right now, but um, actually let's do that for you. I think this plug will plug right in here and we can do this. Look at that. All right. Fix this over. All right. So if you want to turn this one on, if you hit mode, that means infrared. If you hit mode, that means red or you just do all red. So you can do it um, you can do 50% of it red, you can do 50% of it near infrared, or you can do 100% of it a blend of each, okay? Uh, then you hit the time. One minute, uh, yeah, the, and the new ones default higher up than this, but uh, you adjust your time by just pushing the time button, and then you hit go or OK and the light turns on, okay? So really simple. Um, I use this particular one on red and infrared at the same time. I hit it for 10 minutes and I go. All right, so if you want simplicity, that's probably your better option. Uh, if you want very, uh, you want optionality and technology and all kind of stuff, this might be the best one to go with. 
All right, a couple things you need to know too. Um, so this light panel is a little bit wider, okay? And what I mean by that is the distance between the lens to the lens on, on this Mito Adapt is just under seven inches. If we take this lens to the width of this lens, if you see these are staggered, they're not exactly even like this one is, but this to this is just a smidge over it's seven inches, it's seven and a quarter inches. Okay, so it's slightly wider lens than the, the, than the width this would be. Okay, so to be fair with you, it's like a quarter inch of a difference. Probably doesn't make too much of a difference, but if you're a really wide person, and you're thinking about getting a couple panels or whatever the case may be, just factor that in because um, the, the lens width is a little bit wider on this, a quarter inch wider. The actual width of the panel itself is more like an inch wider on this particular one. Okay. Um, the other thing that you should know about the Mito Pro is that the intensity on the Mito Pro is a little bit higher than it is in the Mito Adapt. Okay. So the Mito Adapt is using dual chips inside of each one of these lenses, which means the chip, the LED chip, is a little bit smaller in this one. So the power output coming off of the Mito Pro is going to be 20, 25, maybe even as much as 30% more intense on this. I don't think that should make your decision. Okay, I'm just going to call it what it is. This panel, uh, the, these Mito Adapts absolutely throw therapeutic intensity. There is only so many photons that your body can take in at any given time. So guess what? If you want a little bit more photons, get a little bit closer. If you want a little bit less photons, step an inch or two back. The difference in power up between the two of these, even if it is as much as 30%, and I don't know if it is, but I've talked to them a little bit, somewhere 20, 25, 30%, it probably matters on which um, of, the, of the spectrums of light, because you're not really comparing apples to apples unless you set it up um, you know, that way. So, so what I would tell you is that the power output on this one's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit more intense on the Mito Pro. Um, all right, so let's talk about cost. Um, the Mito Adapt series is significantly more expensive than the Mito Pro. Now, you're also, you're not getting any of the 810 um, LED chips in the Mito Pro. You're getting 830 and 850 on the near-infrared. On the Mito Adapt, you're getting 810 and 850. Okay, so if you want a dedicated 810 light output, then the Mito Adapt is your choice. If you're like, you know what, I understand the LEDs and the way that the light throws off of them, and that on an LED chip, it's not going to be exactly 830 only. It's going to be a little bit of it's going to be a bell curve, just like light bulb would be. And that on an 8, 830 wavelength that you're going to get on the Mito Pro, you're also going to get some of the 810. Uh, it's just not going to be a designated 810. It's not going to be nearly as much as what the Mito Adapt would be. Okay. So uh, for that, for that's another reason why the Mito Adapt is going to be more expensive. Those LEDs are more expensive in general, okay? So cost, all right, if you're thinking about getting the Mito Max, um, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the, the Mito Adapt, the names are confusing, guys, and forgive me for that. But the, um, the Mito Adapt, it comes in the largest of the sizes called the Max, okay? And that's 36 inches in width, I mean, in length, by this width. Uh, and many of you are gonna wanna do full body panel. Okay, and this is not really wide enough to get anyone bigger than me to be most of the torso coverage. Okay, so if you want to get your arms and your hands uh, and the full body spectrum and you're going to go with the Mito Adapt, you're going to need to probably get four of the Mito Max, um, uh, the Adapt Max uh, panels, which right now would be $49.99 without using our discount code. Yeah, it's a lot of money, that's $5,000. That would give you 72 inches in height and 18 inches in width if you did four of the Mito Adapt Maxes. Now, if you go with the, um, give you a cost comparison, the Mito Pro Series has a commercial version uh, called the, um, the Mega. It's under the commercial line. You can get that and it would give you 64 inches of height by 17 inches of width. Okay, so not quite as wide uh, and not quite as tall, 64 versus 62 inches. Uh, you know, it's 17 inches versus 18 inches, but it's going to give you a heck of a lot of uh, LED um, lenses. 
That right now is going for $24.99. So it's half the price of doing four of the Mito Adapt Maxes. Um, in my opinion, that's probably the best bargain that Mito has right now is that Mito Pro uh, commercial mega panel at uh, $24.99. Use our discount code, it'll get you savings on that as well. Um, so, you know, if you're looking at thinking, hey, I wanna do a full body panel, uh, I wanna do the latest and greatest and everything, well, you can drop some pretty good coin and get one of these Mito Adapts. It's a killer product, it's really cool. Uh, and you can have the optionality of doing all the different spectrums that you would like. Uh, and you can have the mobile app that you can log in your sessions and all kind of stuff. If you're like, you know, I want something simple. I want a single panel. I want all the LEDs I possibly can get. The 810, that 810 isn't really that important for me. I can be okay with 830 and 850 on the near infrared. And maybe try that Mito, uh, Mito Pro commercial uh, mega uh, panel. So. What I have right now is I have, this is a Mito Pro 750. I personally use that with a 1500 combined into it, which the uh, cost of that combined when you buy the two together is $16.99. And that gives me 450 of these individual lenses on my body. It's 64 inches uh, tall and it is, um, uh, is 10 inches wide, okay, for $16.99. So that's a pretty nice option for myself. But again, if I had the money to spend, or I was any bigger than I am, I'd probably go with that Mito Pro, um, that Mito Pro Commercial Mega Panel at $24.99. All right, guys. Well, look, I just wanted you to see these. Uh, and I'm super thrilled with this. My daughter's currently using this one on desktop for her face, uh, for skin, and she's tracking with it. She's really enjoying it, and uh, we set it up for her on the mode that she wants and just hits it and goes and uh, and uh, it's been really nice for her. So I want you to know, hey, if you have ever have any questions about any of this, it is very confusing, feel free to call me. Uh, there's no perfect answer on, hey, what's the best panel to get? All comes down to body size, outcomes that you're trying to do, uh, setup options that you want, budget as well. Uh, so um, I know it's confusing and I really do appreciate you guys tuning into our channel. Be sure to hit the like button. Note too that um, if you use our discount code, uh, that gives you a discount on the product and also helps to support this channel through a small uh, commission that we get. But we do have affiliations with both Mito Red Light and Platinum. So if you're interested in any of the products from either one of those manufacturers, just use the discount code RENEWED and it'll save you money. All right, friends, thanks so much. Be well, stay healthy out there.